I'm fine. Hello. This is Joe Pugh for IFL TV. We're here in Bournemouth. Chev, cold up here on the coast on a December night. Bro, it feels like somewhere like Antarctica or something. It's mad cold. I just literally just took my jacket off because we're kind of inside now. I mean, the fire's burning, so yeah. But outside, it's mad cold. It certainly is, and something is burning. Uh, it's on fire right now. Is your career. 2023, three fights, uh, three big wins. How do you kind of assess the whole year as a whole and the personal development of C4, Chef Clark? You know, the year's gone exactly how I expected it to have gone. My team are happy and um, you know what? I, I've come out victorious, no hiccups anywhere. So yeah, I'm happy, man. It's been a good year. Heading into 2024. Go on. It's been a great year, and I'm mandatory. Oh, I forgot that. You know what I mean? I'm mandatory for the British, so, you know, excellent year. Well, that's where I was going to take it before uh, you took it there for me. Anyway, you're yeah, mandatory for that British title. Finally, we got Chamberlain versus the Wall. Uh, I think about seven weeks ago now. So, Isaac Chamberlain at C4, early parts of next year? By the, by the looks of it, that's, what, that's what's meant to happen, but um, it's a slow process at the moment. But um, I'm here, I'm a very patient guy. Yeah, I've literally just seen a Eddie Hearn story on Instagram saying we're pushing for that, you're lobbying. Chef Clark will be fighting for that British title next year. So good to hear when your promoters got you behind your back. Yeah, it's good to hear, man. Um, yeah, just, just keep, you know, make it happen. Pump it, make it happen. You know, people want to see it. You want to see it, right? Okay, then there you go. You know what I mean? The best fighting the best, that's what it's about. No politics, none of that. Let's make it happen. What happens when you get in the ring with Isaac Chamberlain? What do you think happened? I'm asking you, mate. I'm asking you. Don't sit on fence, man. Don't sit on the fence. Like, give me a... You can say whatever you want to say. Yeah, but... I'm not going to... You know well, full well I'm not going to do that. Um, yeah, what happens? Come on. Come on, man. Um, you know, Chev... You know how Chev operates. I go in, I do my business nice and clean and uh, come out victorious. Just to finish up, I know this interview will go out after the main event tonight. Chris Billum Smith takes on Masanaki's first defence of that WBO World Title. You fought Chris twice in the amateurs, didn't you? Yeah. How'd that go? I win all right. <laughs> Two wins? Yeah, I won. But you know, as you guys say, it's the amateurs and. Uh, you know, I just said again, there's two ways the amateurs, people look at the amateurs. It's, it's like Connellan where you've done so well as an amateur and then you lose as a pro. It's like, oh, amateurs don't always turn over and make good pros. So I don't really look at the amateurs too tough. I just know that as a pro, I'm great. And if you're coming to fight me, you better come with hell and level. Excellent, Chef. Thank you very much for being to IFL TV. And hopefully we'll see you in the ring for that British title soon, mate. Yes, sir. I'm fine.